Hi, I'm Hassan, the lecturer here at the Institute of Medical Education, and today we're going to take a look at solutions to Section 3 of ACES GAMSAT Green Booklet, Practice Test 1, specifically Unit 5, Questions 16 to 17. So you might have noticed that the stimulus here is short, however, I guarantee you that just because it's short, it doesn't mean uh, it's not going to pack a punch. So with this uh, stimulus, we're told that a population of mice has two genotypes, one for spotting and one for color. We're told that the spotting genotype, um, non-spotting, is dominant to the alternative phenotype, which is spotting. We're not told if it's homozygous or heterozygous dominant. We're just told that it's dominant. So therefore, we know if we can draw it out in a table as such, like here, we know that it has to be either homozygous dominant or heterozygous dominant. Therefore, spotting is going to be recessive. It's going to be homozygous recessive as shown here. So with color, now this is where the trick comes as well. So with color, it tells you that the heterozygous condition is yellow. So we know it has to be this form, the dominant form, whereas the homozygous yellow mice do not survive to birth. And the alternative color is black. So if homozygous doesn't survive to birth, it's either going to be recessive or dominant. But you can think about it intuitively and say, well, if homozygous yellow mice don't make it to birth, they can't be dominant. Because if they were dominant, that means that they could reproduce, they can have more offspring. But if the recessive doesn't make it to birth, then it can't obviously reproduce. And you can't obviously um, uh, pass on this genetic makeup or this genotype. So it's obvious then that yellow has to be recessive because if it was dominant, there wouldn't be any mice, there wouldn't be any mice left. They wouldn't exist because they'd all die. So they wouldn't make a past birth. So the trick here for this question is to obviously draw out the table as such like this. And then when you have this, then you can answer the following questions. So the first question says the most likely proportion of phenotypes in offspring born from a cross between two yellow mice is, so let's draw the Punnett square. So two yellow mice, so obviously the ones that make it, um, who live and who can reproduce. So we cross the um, heterozygous dominant mice. So it's going to be, draw that Punnett square, nice and big. So we can draw this, this, please. Uh, I'm not going to win any awards for my artistry here. So we're going to cross big C, little c with big C, little c. So we can go big c little c big c little c so if we cross it big c big c we've got big c little c big c little c and recessive so you can see here when we've crossed the two yellow mice we're going to get if we take a look at our table one black and one two three yellow however here's the trick the question is asking how many are going to be born from a cross between two yellow mice. So we're told that yellow recessive, homozygous recessive, don't make it, uh, do not survive to birth. That means we're not going to get this. So this doesn't survive. So that means our actual uh, ratio is going to be one black to two yellows. So therefore, your answer has to be for 16, C. I mean, over there, I think they write it as two yellows, one black, but same, same answer. So now if we move on to question 17, it says two yellow coated spotted mice were crossed repeatedly. Of the following, the phenotypes of offspring born would most likely include. Now, this is another trick. You can sit there and draw the massive um, uh, Punnett square and cross and do all of these uh, in the GAMSAT and waste your time. But it's actually, there is a trick here. Another trick is that it's telling you two yellow coated spotted mice. So if you're going to say two yellow coated spotted, it's going to be C, little c, little s, little s. Because it's going to be the recessive gene for spotting, that means no matter if you cross it with, say, like this, it's not going to change. You're always going to get, the offspring is always going to be spotted. So you know, therefore, you don't have to include this in the Punnett square. 
I mean, you can if you want to, but it was just going to prove the point. In the game set, you want to be quick. So you know straight away there's no point in including spotted in there because you know it's going to be all spotted. So that's the key here. So then let's just draw the punnet square anyway. I'll leave it in there just to show you. But if we can just draw the punnet square. So let's do it. So I'll just do a streamlined Punnett square. So we'll go say big C, little s, uh, big C, little s, we'll go little c, little s, little c, little s. So you're going to have C, C, little s, little s. You're going to have C, little c, s, s. You're going to have C, little c, s, s. And the last one you're going to have is all littles. So you can see it's all going to be spotted. So remember, it's asking us the phenotypes of offspring born. We're looking for the offspring that's born. Recall yellow homozygous recessive arm born. So this out of the equation. So we know straight away then we're going to have black spotted. So we're going to have one times black spotted so that means we're going to have so let's say three which means it's going to be 33 percent are going to be black spotted and 66 percent are going to be yellow spotted so of the of the offspring that are born so it's going to be 66 percent yellow so the question's asking the phenotypes would be most likely include. So your 17 is the most correct answer is going to be C. So we're going to have 33% black spotted, as you can see here. So the trick here is knowing that because the offspring doesn't survive to birth, you remove it from the population, obviously, when you do the calculations. Now, um, if you do have any questions about this unit, you can post them in the comment section below. Um, if you do want to contact us directly, we'd love to help you as well. I know these sorts of questions do trick up students, but don't worry. We'll help you. We'll make sure you don't uh, make these mistakes in the game. So thanks for your time. Bye now.